factoring the sum or difference of two cubes. As a recall, cube roots um, are in this form. Example, 1 raised to the power of 3. It is the cube root. If you will simplify, 1 times 1 times 1. Multiply your base 3 times, so will give you 1. 1 is a perfect cube. Perfect cube. What are those others? What are those other perfect cube? Example, 2 raised to the power of 3. This is in the form of cube. Your base is 2. Multiply it by 3 times. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. Next, 4, 4. Raise the power of 3. 4 is your base. 3 is your exponent. So multiply 4, 4 times. Uh, multiply 4, 3 times. 4 times 4, 16 times 4. 64. Now, how about if you want to get the cube, if you want to get the cube root of 3, um, the cube root of x raised to the power of 3. What's the cube root of x power of 3? It's x. Why? Because x times x times x simply will give you x raised to the power of 3. Add all the exponent, x raised to the power of 3. How about for um, <coughs> cube root of 3, uh, of 8 rather, cube root of 8. Uh, cube root of 8 is 2. Why 2? It's because 2 times 2 times 2 will give you 8. So from the handouts, um, these are the numbers these are the cube root of these numbers and they are the and these are the perfect cube of these numbers the perfect cube of 8 is 2 perfect cube of 27 is 3 perfect cube of 64 it's 4 perfect cube of 125 is 5 Perfect cube of 7 is 343. Ah, the perfect cube root of 6, 343 is 7. 512 is 8. 729 is 9. These are the perfect cube root. Let's proceed. The sum or difference of two cubes. This is now the format that we will be using. We're in your A raised to the power of 3 plus B raised to the power of 3 equals A plus B A squared minus AB plus B squared. And the other one, this is the sum. How about the difference? The difference is A cubed minus B cubed equals A minus B the a squared my plus a b plus b squared this is the format that we will be using so it is also um, reflected in your handouts so we can say that sum or difference of two cubes note that polynomial is a sum or difference of two cubes if first second these are the two conditions polynomial should be a binomial polynomial with two terms why look one two two terms each term in the binomial is a perfect cube it should be it should be a perfect cube any of these numbers it can be one 8, 27, 64, 125, 216, 343, 512, 729, and 1000. These are perfect cube. And either of A, uh, it should be A, a perfect cube, B, also a perfect cube. It should be both 
uh, dalawa sila both a perfect cube so as a summary a should be a perfect cube b a perfect cube and there is some or difference in between them let's find the uh, let's factor x cube plus 125 so the very first is to determine the a and b this is your a and this is your b Step 1 is to find the cube root, the cube root of your a and b. So, cube root of x raised to the power of 3 and the cube root of plus, let's place plus cube root of 125. So, both a and b must be a perfect cube in order for you to be easy, in order for you uh, to be easy in determining the perfect cube, look at the table. These are the perfect cube. For cube root of x raised to the power of 3, it's x. While the cube root of um, 125, it's 5. So therefore, answer is x plus 5. That's the first step. Second step. Our second step here is to copy the um, format. The format, if you will look at your handouts, your format can be, this is your format here. So, a cube plus b cube equals a plus b, a squared minus a b plus b squared. Since it is x cube plus 125, it is plus, therefore, we will use this. You will use the a cube plus b cube equals a plus b. Um, a squared minus a b plus b squared. Now let's say, let's fill in um, the format by determining our a and our b. So from our step one, we have already find the cube of our a and b. So this is now the simplified. Your x is your a, and your positive five is your b. So therefore, let's place it a plus five. Open close parenthesis. Um, your x, open close parenthesis, squared, minus, bracket, minus, your a is, your a is x, your b is 5, open close parenthesis, 5, positive 5, plus, what's your b, your b is 5, open close parenthesis, squared, simplify, x plus 5, x times x multiply x twice x times x it, it will give you x squared minus 5 times x 5x plus 5 square root of uh, square the 5 so let's see uh, let's be detailed let's be specific here x times x that is y x squared here, it should be 5 times 5. Multiply 5 but twice. Multiply x twice. So therefore, 5 times 5 here will give you 25. So now, the final answer is simply x plus 5 x squared minus 5x plus 25. answer. Next example, number 2. If factor x cubed minus 8, so step 1, very simple, step 1 is you need to find the perfect cube of A and B. Factor it, uh, find the cube of, the, of x cubed and negative 8. So, it should be um, cube of x raised to the power of 3 and then minus um, cube root of 8. So, cube root of x raised to the power of 3 from your table, it's x minus the cube root of 8, it's 
paste from your table. The cube root of your 8 is 2. So, 2. Step 2. Step 2. Since it is a um, a cube minus b cube so therefore the pattern that we will be using is from your notes it's this is for positive this is for negative so we will use the negative so a cube equals a minus b and plus parenthesis a squared plus a b plus b squared this is the format that we will be using so fill in now the table fill in now the pattern so very simple we need to fill in equals your a here is x your b is 2 so therefore x minus 2 open plus parenthesis your a will be x squared bracket your a is x plus your a is the same x your b is 2 plus your b is 2 Squared. Yeah. So, simplify x minus 2. Simplify. It's x times x. It will give you x squared. Plus 2 times x. It's 2x. Plus 2 times 2 squared. Multiply 2 twice so 2 times 2 4 that's the answer simply this is the answer